So I have decided to start a new kind of series on this channel, one where I can share with you a few glimpses of the life that I carry here in Japan. And even though vlogging or that kind of video is not exactly the kind of video that I normally make, I thought I could share these things with you. So without further ado, I guess this is the first episode of our new series. I haven't even come up with a name for it yet, so if you have any good ideas, make sure to let me know in the comments. So having said that, let's get to it. This time we decided to travel to Tochihi Prefecture, which is located right here, about two hours from Tokyo by Shinkansen. And we ended up taking this absolute spaceship of a bullet train called Hayabusa. Technically one of the fastest Shinkansen in Japan, and its name literally means Peregrine Falcon, which, if you ask me, I think it's quite fitting. It was really quite a sight to behold, both on the outside and on the inside. And of course I think it was one of the highlights of the trip for our son, who was absolutely out of his mind about it. Shinkansen is an extremely comfortable, efficient and convenient way to travel by land in Japan. But keep in mind that even though before you could buy bento or any other services on the train, they've recently, as of maybe the month of March or April of this year, have gotten entirely rid of the cabin crews and meal carts on the train. So it is highly recommended that you buy your meals and everything else you might need before you get on the train. You can do that basically at any of the train stations. And of course, if you're traveling with young children, make sure to bring plenty of entertainment to keep them busy while you travel. Traveling to places outside of Tokyo or most main cities, you'll quickly realize that although public transportation still works great and is very efficient, it might not give you the same ease of access as it does in the big cities. So I would recommend considering renting a car while you're there. Now, I always say that there's two ways that you can pay for things in life, with your money or with your time. And I believe that there's a right time for each of them. That basically means that you can choose to either invest your money and rent a car, which means you'll be able to get to places faster and enjoy your time there more, or you can choose to save that money and then take public transportation. Inevitably, that means getting there will take you longer, but at the end of the day, it all depends on the purpose of your holiday. In any case, this time we chose to rent a car and we enjoyed the landscapes as we headed up the mountains, which this time for us was actually very nostalgic as we come from a very mountainous area and we felt as if we were almost back home. And we finally arrived at our hotel in the town of Nasu, in Tochigi Prefecture. It's quite a charming place with a great mountain atmosphere, and even the hotel lobby was quite impressive, with a very nice sitting area with a great fireplace facing the forest just outside. The rooms are also not bad at all, you can see we have a very nice sitting area right here with a balcony facing the forest and the farms just outside. And over here we have the beds and, well, all other amenities. So I think we'll go out and go for a walk and explore the lands a bit. And surprisingly, after walking through the forest, we discover these incredible saunas that they had installed right in the middle of this clearing. They have a great view of these secluded woods, and from the moment you step in, you can really smell the Japanese hinoki wood. I'm really looking forward to coming here later. And right outside of the saunas, there's this nice natural pool with ice cold water straight from the mountaintops, where you can do some contrast therapy if that's your thing. And as we keep discovering it, we realize that it really is a wonderful place. But now I think we'll go get some food and supplies for our time here. This, of course, is not absolutely necessary as the hotel had absolutely everything we need. But when you're traveling with young children, I think it's always a good idea to know where everything is located in the town and to get some food for additional meals or any other supplies you might need. And so we reached the main supermarket in the town, which is called The Big. But you also have to remember that we are in a town called Nasu, which actually in Japanese means eggplant. And so they call this place the Big Nasu. Technically, yes, I know, both Nasu are written with completely different kanji, but, you know, don't let that ruin your experience. 
And prices are really not so different from what you might find in Tokyo, but I thought I would show you a glimpse of the kind of things you might find here. And now we get back on the car and get ready to go back home and have some dinner. And today we decided to go with room service, which was actually quite nice. We had a very nice serving of salad with Japanese style beef, miso soup and many other side vegetables. It was definitely worth it and even though I'm not able to give you the most photogenic shot, I assure you it was a very good choice. And after dinner, of course, nothing like ending your day with a nice bath at the onsen. Now, for obvious reasons, we're not really allowed to record at the onsen, but here I'm showing you a different footage to give you an idea of what it was like. And onsen are really one of my favorite things about living in Japan. And I think it would be an experience I would find really hard to exchange for anything else. And with that, the next day we had extremely important plans and I think that's one of the main reasons why we decided to bring our son on this trip. We are going to a safari park that they have in this area and it's all because our son has been talking for months about wanting to ride one of these atrocities, a lion bus. So it's actually a very nice area where most animals are free to roam around and you can feed them treats from inside the bus. And it is definitely a great experience for families and children. Although obviously the lions and tigers and all other carnivores of that kind are in a different environment to avoid any obvious mishaps. It's definitely a worthwhile experience for the whole family and if you're looking for something a little bit different to do in Japan outside of the big cities, riding this nightmarish looking bus and feeding wild animals along the way is definitely a good time for everyone. Anyway, after that we continued the next chapter of our hunt for food and ended up in a lovely cheese farm in the area. Apparently this town and its surrounding areas are known for making cheese. The entire place was very charming and the food was actually great, especially if you're looking for something a little bit different from your typical Japanese trip. And then of course we headed back home and ended the day in the best way possible. The next day, we ended up going even higher as we decided to go all the way up to Mount Nasu and take the cable car all the way to the top. Now, Mount Nasu is about 2,000 meters above sea level and even though it's fairly easy to take the cable car to the top, you still have to find a way to go up to the station. And like I said before, you can either bring your car or take one of the buses that will take you there. And once there, everything is pretty straightforward. You just buy a ticket at the station and then you'll have a cable car that will take you to the top every 20 minutes or so. The ride up is quite short, but still surrounded by incredible views of the mountainscapes and the surrounding regions. And later we heard that during the ride seasons, you can also spot bears roaming around below the cable cars. So once at the top, we were able to enjoy the views for quite a while and enjoy the last few bits of cold air before the summer, which is right around the corner. And of course, we couldn't go back down without enjoying some snacks at the top. This is dango, and for those of you who might not know, dango is a traditional Japanese snack which consists of boiled up mochi, grilled over a fire, and then brushed and caramelized with soy sauce. And as you can see, it's actually a very popular snack with the whole family. And after that, we enjoyed our cable car ride back down, saying goodbye to yet another wonderful experience in the Japanese countryside. We came back to our hotel, ended the day with a wonderful bento and an absolutely necessary onsen session. It really is wonderful to discover new parts of the country, even if these are things you've never heard of or didn't even plan on doing in the first place. And the ride back home was just as pleasant as the ride coming in. Even though we got a slightly different train on the way back, Shinkansen really is one of the most comfortable ways to travel by land, especially if you consider the many amenities you can enjoy while on the train. <laughs> And 
after reaching Tokyo, I think we can safely say that we all had a great time and everyone got a very well-deserved rest. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care.